Hi, I'm Lou. Another episode of My Car Story. I'm here with Terry. Terry, what's your last name? Weiner. Terry, thanks for being with us today. We're at the World of Wheels. Come on out in Rosemont, Illinois. Great car show. And we'll talk about some of the cars. We're going to talk to one of the owners right now. A great AMC car. So let me grab the cameras I usually do. Terry, let me grab this. Tell me, uh, uh, first of all, why are you so in love with this car? What happened? Well, I was 18 years old a bunch of years ago, and uh, the magazine articles would come out late in the fall. They had a picture, or actually a sketch, of a 71 Javelin AMX, and I really liked it. I liked the front, the front spoiler, I liked the rear spoiler, I loved the hood, and the interior was kind of interesting too. So, uh, after driving a GTO for a few years, I thought it might be a nice change to maybe uh, try something different. So. Come on alongside me, let's take a look at what you got. And here it is. So, uh, wow. This is a really awesome looking AMX. Uh, 1971, we just got done with the gas crunch coming upon us. So kind of a difficult engine to get the 401, but uh, really straight grill, which is difficult to do, isn't it? Yeah, that's actually stainless steel. And uh, back in the day, you can see the pencil thin front bumper. It didn't give a lot of protection from people backing into your car. But luckily, I was able to find a brand new in the box one, and that's what you're seeing there. That is great. And this car is uh, just super sharp. Let's come around the side of it. I want to get a straight on shot of it, too. Now, um, how long have you had it? I've had it about uh, four years now. And uh, it's just a beauty. I mean, let's, let's feature some of the, uh, we've got the javelin, javelin emblem there. We've got this T-stripe, people can see this. Let me just kind of zone in a little bit so people can see the Right, kind of moves up there as it radiates. radiates as you can see the vinyl top on top. Yeah. The vinyl top. I just want to show the vinyl top too. The vinyl top looks like that. So let's take a look at the overall side of the car. So you've got a couple of these. Yeah, I've got two of them. This one's a 401. I also have a 360 with a two barrel, which I did buy in 71 during the gas crunch trying to save on insurance, trying to save on gasoline. And you were telling me that this one is the 401 Go Pack, right? 401 Go Pack, 401 cubic inches. The Go Pack in this year, let me see if I can remember everything that came, but it came with the T-Stripe. It came with the 15-inch, uh, they're called machine wheels. It was an option for the Rebel Machine in 1970, and they carried it over in 71 for the Javelin Amex. Take a look at the Go Pack. It had the Goodyear Polyglass uh, E60 by 15. Uh, fiberglass belted tires with the white letters. The gold pack included front disc brakes, rear power drip, drum brakes. Uh, it has the front spoiler, the rear spoiler, and uh, when you get around to the back of the car, you can see it had a blacked out tail panel. Now, the built Javelins, they built many Javelins uh, back in 1971, but uh, they only built 2,054 of the AMX. So we're looking at not only a unique car, and back in 71, let's face it, we didn't have much uh, as far as uh, water leaving your car. So these things rust, not just yours, but all the cars yes. just rusted out. Uh, the unibody construction, um, I, can, I can't tell you how much rust there was on this car and my 71 that I bought new back in 71 that I restored in 2002. Uh, rust was an issue, it was a major issue. And that's why you don't see too many of these cars around because some of them are so far gone, they're very, very hard to repair. Parts are not the easiest. I must say that I have found every part that I need for this car. And when I restored my other AMX, I have found every part for that. So I've been very fortunate, but uh, finding good use parts for these cars is uh, it's, it's not easy. It just looks fantastic. What was the color you shared with me on this car? It's called mustard yellow. Mustard yellow. Call it like a dark yellow. And I'll just show there's there's this little ridge on the on the. It looks like a little bit of a spoiler. Like a little spoiler right there on sure. the on the roof, and then again we've got the split T. Or let me get one more shot of this side. Although I've got it on the other side, we've got a little more light on this side to really get this color. So when you're driving this, what are people's reactions? Oh, uh, you always get the thumbs up. Uh, I must say that uh, this car doesn't have a lot of miles on it. So yeah. I'll have to relate to my other AMX. Okay. And we do drive a little bit. And I was uh, just noticing too. Tell me a little bit, first of all, we got this hood scoop it's there. Cal induction. Cal induction. Cal induction, sure. And again, there's another 
kind of look at the stripe and how it moves back down. Tell me about the T-stripe here. Okay. What's the difference in the stripe? Go ahead, stand okay. next to it. Okay. Uh, this is a later model, I'm sorry, an earlier model of the T-stripe, which forms over the fender. Uh, we understand that on the, at the assembly line in Kenosha, where this car was built, they were having problems on the assembly line putting this section of the T-stripe on the car. It was slowing the assembly line down. So a quick fix was to change the design and starting sometime, I believe, in November of 1971, instead of what you see over here, like this, they made a wingtip on the fender, which is a lot easier to install. So this being an early production Javelin AMX, build date of uh, late October, they actually didn't come out until November. Uh, I do remember that, going to the dealers uh, late in 1970, looking for the color that I wanted for my 71 that I bought new. I was told that these cars wouldn't come out till November. So this being an October build, this is probably one of the first ones. So this T-stripe should be correct for this car as is. And let's just, there's the overall look at the front. Let's take a look at the interior. Sure. And they've got us here early. So we're gonna also, and you gotta enjoy the AMX interior, right? I mean, it's got that kind of spinning metal. We we'll call it engine turn. Engine turn, which is right. That's the there. car has the uh, uh, visibility group, which included the uh, remote mirror and some interior lights as part of the, nice. the bezel for the remote mirror. What's interesting about this car is that it has a corduroy interior, something you don't see very often. Hmm. Yeah, we're getting a deep look at the corduroy. We're going to take one step back out just to get an overall look. Vinyl was standard, uh, leather was an option. My other 71 has a leather interior. This one has the corduroy interior. The corduroy interior. Yeah, you don't you don't hear that often on any cars, do you? Another option, or actual standard equipment for the 71 early production, was this rim blow steering wheel. Okay, so just squeeze there it right there, and it, it blows the horn. Gotcha. Cool. There you go. Very neat. This car is AM FM stereo. Uh, it's got the rally gauge package, which includes the clock and the tachometer. Air conditioned. Got the wood grain uh, uh, shift shifter. 140 speedometer there, and uh, usually it didn't go to eight grand, correct? Uh, these cars were not real high winding cars like the uh, Chevys, but uh, this car being as lighted as it, as it is, it really moves. Really nice. Nice interior. You mentioned that one of the things I don't know when we were talking, you said, I used to love the way it makes me feel like I'm in a cockpit. Right, that's the design I saw in that magazine ad way back uh, in 1970. It was quite unusual if you actually sit in the passenger seat, it's, uh, uh, that grab bar is quite far away. It takes some getting used to, but in the driver's seat, it's, it just, it just, it just it works. If it works and we get the speaker on top there. And and two in the back with the AM and stereo. Two in the back. I got gotcha. you. Other 71 has back the uh, electric rear defogger. This car does not have that. But it would have the uh, electric grid in the back. Let's, let's pop the hood first. Oh, that's nice. This is also air conditioned. There's your, there's your hood with some venting in it. <laughs> It's got a flapper back here, so the air comes through here by, by vacuum. Let me feature that. It's got a four barrel carburetor. The air conditioner, as you shared, it looks just spectacular. You're hot and cold. Information right there. People can people can read that and stop on it whenever they like. There are a lot of minor changes during the 1971 model year with uh, this Javelin AMX. Um, steering wheel change. The actual the seats changed. Uh, I'm gonna try to hit. Go ahead. Little things here and there. So if you see one that looks a little bit different, it might be correct. I'm going to get some of these uh, 
different badgings on your engine. And Terry, this might be the first time you've ever seen them. <laughs> so. You'll actually be able to uh, to read them. Well, let's take an overall look. There's the power steering, and it just looks spectacular. Let's uh, let's start it. but you can still hear the exhaust note. Sounds great. Let's uh, let's shut it off. And we'll shut the hood and shut the door and have you stand next to it. Terry, stand right there. Hey, thanks for being on my car story. Thank you very much. Thank you.